Wisconsin woman faces charges after being caught with cash and drugs in her car, driving through Garvin County twice in less than four months. And by the same officer, by the way, she's now facing trafficking and intent to distribute charges. News Force Caitlin Ogle explains. My client is innocent. Court documents show in late August, Angela Fleming of Wisconsin pulled over on I-35 in Garvin County for following too closely. That is one measure following too closely. The 49-year-old allegedly, quote, displaying constant nervous behavior. A canine officer allegedly finding 51 pounds of vacuum-sealed packages of weed, several marijuana vape cartridges, and bags of cash in her car. Fleming was booked and bonded out of the Garvin County Jail. Then in December, the same officer spotted Fleming near the same spot. Documents show after using plate reader data, Fleming allegedly made cross-country trips that, quote, seemed suspicious and unusual. The officer pulled her over for a lane change violation. When you're overtaking somebody, you continue to follow the traffic laws, continue to go your speed, and move past and then move back. I don't see any problem. This time, the officer found seven pounds of weed, marijuana edibles and cartridges, and a vacuum-sealed package of up to $85,000. She was booked and bonded out again. Her attorney, Alan Taylor, questions the differences in the cash found. Another document says only $50,000. Where did the rest of it? Now, Taylor is fighting a search warrant for Fleming's phone. They asked the judge for the ability to search the entire cell phone, past, present, and future. And that is a direct violation of the Fourth Amendment. He also challenges the validity of the traffic stops. There are legal issues of whether or not a traffic uh, violation even occurred that led to the stop, and then everything after that is could be fruit of a poisonous tree if we don't even have a clean stop. In Garvin County, Caitlin Ogle, Oklahoma's News 4. While locked up the second time, the officer says that the jail staff called him claiming they'd found more drugs during booking. Fleming's next court date is set for February.